Hey, what's up everyone? Tankenstein here. In this video, I'll be providing some gameplay for the F5C, the brand new, as of the recording of this video, premium American fighter that sits at 10.3 BR. And let me tell you guys, this plane is a hoot. Every single match, I'm not really sure why, is, well, almost every single match is three, four minutes, and I end up getting two or three kills. I mean, I am having a ton of fun. This is probably the first plane that I've had in a very long time. Not even the F4E Phantom 2 when that first came out was I this excited. I actually left for work this morning excited to come back and play this plane. That's how fun it is. That's how good it is. It can just do everything well. It's just a real joy. So I already have my review out for this. So I'm not going to kind of get into that sort of stuff like what's, you know, what its roles are and kind of the review oriented things but i will be going into some of the more details as they come up uh, being that this is gameplay uh, i want to provide a more intimate view of this as the situations arise in game and kind of go over it like that and also provide some tips and tricks in case you guys maybe want some tips and tricks maybe how i play the f5c and how i'm actually pretty successful in it that being said i've kind of gone over the intro knife so let's just get into some gameplay you know, I've said it like two, three, four, five, I don't know how many times in the uh, in the review that I had, but man, this thing actually climbs quite well. It's not, again, as good as the F5E, but that is a fool's errand to try to compare this to something that is literally meant to be a total upgrade over it. Uh, so, that being said, let's see what I can do against this hunk of metal. Nothing. Oh, yes, but I can come back from that. This thing is agile. Did I ever say that? I doubt I'm going to hit him. Yeah. No biggie. That was expected. He's coming in, coming in, coming in. Hit him. Okay. Take it. Really probably... Eesh. He thought he could lose me. You know, I kind of want to go for him. Because I don't think he has any countermeasures. Then... Oh, are you serious? Gee golly gosh, Batman. That really was nice of you. Okay, let's put out those flaps. Ooh, whoops. They can really deflect... I mean, 600-something kilometers per hour isn't much. But I really cannot state enough how good these flaps are. They are powerful. And this thing never overheats. So you're, you virtually have unlimited afterburns. Oh, does he even know I'm here? Does it matter? Okay. Guess it did matter. These cannons are nasty. Some of the most accurate cannons in game, as far as I'm concerned. The only problem is, it doesn't have a ton of ammunition. Which I guess is kind of a major problem, for being the only problem. Um, let's see if I can... Really don't like to fire cannons beyond one kilometer... Whatever, that's it for me. He's just leading me over his base. I'm not gonna... Oh, I'm already over his base. Not gonna fall for that. But anyways, let's see. I'm gonna try to get into kind of an angle... Okay, he's coming back around. These fools are just trying to get whatever. So, oh, okay. So, a thousand kilometers per hour is pretty much the limit. Uh, give or take, it seems to be around a limit for flaps on this. But, let's just put this thing into a sharp turn at Mach 1. Why not? Okay. Pilot almost blacks out, but guess what? Those wings are still there. So... Yeah, um, this thing is really nasty. I'm gonna die anyway, so I really don't give a darn. Or, not die, but, um, this match is over is more what I meant. Oh, you know what? There's still one fella left. There's still one fella left. What an idiot I am, huh? Whatever. That doesn't really matter too much to me. But, um, yeah, I mean, insofar as tips, what I would say to do with this, climb it up five, six, seven thousand meters. Really get yourself in at an advantageous position because what a lot of people don't do, for whatever reason, is climb up that high. And so by the time you reach that high, as you saw before, I was still nearing Mach 1. 
which is amazing. So this thing doesn't have all that creative a uh, you know top speed as you know indicated by well its top speed, but it still has excellent excellent usable speed. It can hit a higher percentage of its speed than almost any other plane in game, at least insofar as um, Cold War jets are concerned. Which, to me, matters just as much as have actually more so than having that top speed. I mean, what's the point of having a 2300 km per hour top speed when you're more or less limited to 12 or... Th Ooh, that was really bad. 12 or 1300 in combat. There's no point. This plane can easily hit still... I mean, I'm a little damaged here, but 12 or 1300 kilometers per hour in just regular flight. So, I mean, I've got video of me chasing down an F, uh, F4E, I believe it is. And yeah, he obviously outpaces me, but not by much. You know, he's he might be about 50-ish, maybe 100 kilometers per hour faster than me on average, but that's it. So, really, again, what you're going to want to do, climb up, even with me being severely damaged, I'm still climbing at a high rate of speed. Climb yourself up, get yourself up to a nice high altitude, and then swoop down, just classic dogfighting tactics to the extreme. Also, remember your air brake, that will help you tremendously, and it's good but bad at the same time, but the air brake on this is fairly small so as you see i'm not really losing all too much speed which isn't bad but at the same token it can kind of mess if you're at least if you're kind of expecting more energy to kind of bleed off it can kind of mess with that but either way we won this so let's get into the next match you know initially i was not going to do this oh wow there's an s27 below i wonder if that's the bmk bkm whatever it is Either way, that thing should not be able to actually kill me. Oh, is he? What is he doing? Come on, fire! Nope, I'm not gonna get the kill like that, but like this, probably. Okay, that was not nearly as good as I had hoped. I'm gonna put some air brakes on. Wow! That was saucy! That was pretty saucy. Wow, that looked good. Okay. Oh, wow, I didn't even notice this guy there. Um, I was more looking at my six. Um, hmm, I really shouldn't be going for this. I'm going to go for this MiG-21. Because he's a closer target. Oh! <laughs> hey, whatever. I'll, I'll take it. Two kills, right? It's not too bad. But anyways... Next game. So, I'll try to get some close air support into this um, with the F5C. I didn't really have that in my review all too much. Uh, every single match that I've actually been able to get the F5C, like no joke, has been a night map. I'm not sure why. So, let's see what we can do. I'll see. Uh, I've got 750 pound bombs. And I just dropped, what, two of them? Wow, nice. Okay. Okay. People diss the bombs. They go. They say go for the bull pups, but man, these bombs are serious business. Wait, is that? Wait a sec. Oh, that's that's a. That's not an actual enemy. But yeah, these bombs are a ton of fun. Um, oh, I'm being actually hit by the AA. That's not good. Um, I've got Zunis also underneath, and of course. As per always, I have my aim nine E's because that's just what this thing basically comes with. Okay, let's see if that does anything. Okay, that's an ally in the helicopter. Ooh, okay. I, <laughs> I thought that was a, a missile chasing me. Nope, it's just flare. So yeah, like I said, it's just been for whatever reason been playing all night maps. And no one's marking on my team. Okay. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Get down. Get down. Get up. Use flaps a little bit. 
One thing I really don't want to do, I mean, it's really nice in this plane because I have, I'm pretty much invisible. Um, outside, just because of the paint. Oh, oh, baby. Okay. I'll take that. Man, I wish I had this gameplay, this go to gameplay when, uh, when I had recorded, oh, huh, well, I'll take it. I wish I had this gameplay when I recorded the, uh, the review. Man, this cockpit is just, ex oh, wait, gameplay. Um, anyways, so this will likely be my last match of this gameplay. And, um, you know, as I stated before, I I'll try to make this kind of a uh, tips and tricks sort of oriented gameplay. I want most of my gameplay to be like that, where it's just like, hey, this is how you do it a little bit better. You know, just kind of pepper those in along the way, just because eh, there's so many people out there that don't do that. And I feel like that could be something that could be really beneficial to a large portion of the player base. Anyways, as you probably noticed, I have only flying with the AIM-9E loadout. And the reason being is because, one, in my review, I actually have gameplay of me flying with the 750 pound bombs, which only puts out around 1100 kilograms of explosive force in total. But more importantly, okay, let's try to get this. What? Oh my gosh, the Starn missile system. Nope, nope, nope. Is he going to black out? There's no way he doesn't black out. There we go. Now he's taking it seriously. Before he didn't. If he knew what was up, he'd probably start slowing down a little. Anyways, so that's the tip. So this thing is such a maneuverable aircraft, right? Where you should really... I mean, it is strongly based in... Uh... Let's see. Nope. Okay. This is such a great energy fighter that you really need to make sure that... Hopefully, my missile doesn't kill my ally. You really need to make sure that you're using it to your full advantage, right? And one of the things that you need to do is to make sure that you are engaging air brakes when necessary. Also, that is an F5E right there, and he way out... Uh, just accelerated me so yeah but when you're in a turning fight like that f5c that i faced before sorry if you end up watching this but really use your air brakes get behind the guy coming up behind you because even though this isn't quite as quick as the aforementioned f5e and it's not really a fair comparison because after all the f5e is just meant to be a total upgrade on this thing wow look at that i sniped him but you can still gain speed coming out of that air brake fairly quickly and you really need to use that to your full advantage i mean look at this I'm, I'm going almost 700 kilometers per hour and the faster i go the quicker i get if that makes any sense so this is just a tremendous aircraft especially when you have energy but even if not you gain agility so much agility Whoop. there we go oh that was close I should really be helping my team a little bit more here and get back up in altitude. But, um, yeah, also engage flaps when you can. Um, you know, that is such an important facet of this plane. Because these flaps, I'll engage them right now. Let's just keep going, keep going. Hit 900, 950, and this is at around 3,000 meters. It doesn't really get into the warning until I hit around a thousand kilometers per hour. So around, what, 600 miles per hour? That is, ew, okay, I thought that maybe was gonna turn in on me. That's amazing. Let's see, can I do it? Nope. You're not better than, oh, maybe he is better than me. Yes, he is. 
No, he's not better than me. He's not better than me. <laughs> but that's exactly what you're going to want to do. So that's exactly what I just said put into action. He slowed down or was already at a slower speed. And the F5, while speeding is, ex is incredibly good, but slowing down, he just gained this. I don't know why he didn't take advantage of it, to be totally honest. But... He gained this um, tremendous agility advantage over me, even though he was, you know, just a little bit slower. And then he gained it right back because he's in the F5, but E, but even the F5C, as mentioned before, is still really nice. And he's not speeding up all that much, but it doesn't really matter because he's dead. I'll just kind of sauce him up. Oh, whoa, I did not mean to do that. I thought he was actually dead. Okay, good. I didn't want to take that kill. So, just bear all that in mind, you know, really use energy to your advantage in this. It is such a, an energy-dependent air. It's mostly just like flying a MiG. It's more or less the same thing. But, you know, either way, the match is over. I said this could be my last match. So, thanks so much for watching, everyone. Please remember, like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you all on the other side. Take care, everyone. And, uh, das vid No, actually, no. This, is a, this isn't the MiG-28. This is the F5C. See you all later, and uh, take care, everyone.